Well, let me just uh, let me weigh in real quick sure. on, on the um, uh, on the last question. Uh, how do you handle denials? Um, yeah. mo- a lot of adjusters uh, like I, I would say the the baseline is that we don't. Independent adjusters don't handle the not denial because our name isn't the final name on on the decision most of the time, sure. uh, not all the time uh, in a cat situation, probably all the time. But um, if you walk out and you know that it's a situation where there could be den- it, it's probably being denied. Um, if you know that it's probably going to be denied and you can't say to them that it is going to be denied, even if they ask you if this is something that's you know normally be covered, there's kind of an art to avoiding that answer. The easiest thing to <laughs> say is like, hey, listen, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know anything about your policy. I'm just here to take some photographs and measurements and that's it. Then you're going to be contacted by so-and-so insurance and they're going to go over blah, 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 blah. But the, the best thing to do, because I, I, I've, I mean, I've had – as soon as you mentioned the question, the first thing that came to my mind was this lady who I saw went out. This was years ago. I don't know why this sticks in my head, but it was, um, you know, a slab on great house, went out there, checking out. She just had water coming in on from the whole one side of her house. You know, think of it like a square house left the right side of the house. Just water's just coming in. I mean, it was an older woman and did not. Uh, take uh, did not take very good care of the exterior of the home. So there's lots of dirt, stuff like that on the side. And water's just coming in, and it's damaging everything and tons of content in there. And I look at it, and I'm nice to her and whatnot, but uh, ultimately the claim was denied. I didn't write the denial letter, but it's it's surface water. It's going right. to be denied. The way I normally handle it, when I go out, if I know that it's going to be denied and I can't tell them flat out it's going to be denied, I'm going to try to mitigate as much heartache as possible. So I yeah. usually do like, a, you know, on property claims at least, when I, when I do my ending spiel, I, I always tell them to get a few estimates, right? Um, just so, just like you said, Matt, I, I mitigate the chances of a supplement later on. I don't want them to get one estimate that's twice the amount of mine. I want yeah. them to get multiple estimates so that they know they're getting a fair mark, you know, a fair price before they start, you know, going crazy. Now, if I know that it's going to be denied, I'll tell them to get the third estimate and make sure that everything is uh, good. And I'll also I'll make sure that I review everything with them and make sure that we're both in agreement. And, and I'm sure the insurance company appreciates this a lot, um, that we're in complete agreement of what damage happened and how we think it happened. So there's no debate after I leave where it's like, Jeremy, they denied my claim. And they said that you said that the water came in from the slab underneath in the middle of the basement where there's no pipes or anything like that. I'll, I'll say to them, I'll say, okay, listen, got everything down here. We got the the carpet is the carpet soaking wet. It smells disgusting in the basement. It's super bad. We got the wall. We got the couch. We got all this and that. There's no pipes that are leaking. Nothing like that. The drains are fine. It just it looks like it's water that's coming up the slab. Am I right? They'll say, yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, fine. Then we go. Then there's just there's a, a, and. We're both in agreement because I've what I've noticed is that if you don't get that agreement, that's when that's when some people will start stretching. That's when they'll say that there's that they've been lied to, that there's, you know, some other event, something going on where they right. just don't believe what happened. And, and and that's when they get upset. The The key. I mean, I say this on denial claims. You should do this really on all claims, but on the denial claims, it's to show additional compassion and to really show that you're committed to the claim, that you're not there because, because just like you said, it's going to be the knee jerk reaction that you're, that you were just sent out there to save the insurance company money. That was it. That that's going to be the knee jerk reaction to any, you know, most denials I'm sure. So that's when you owe it to yourself to, to make sure that they know that you're not out there to deny a claim, whether or not the claim gets denied or not. But that's not why you're out there, that you're out there to gain to a full understanding of what the cause and the origin so that you can report it to the insurance company. This is what I believe what the cause and origin is. What do you think? Are you in agreement? Yes. OK, I'm going to put everything together and give it to the insurance company and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, you know, we get this thing covered for you and hopefully they do cover it after all. <laughs>